Hello readers and welcome to round three of Last Book Standing. If you recall, the next person to move on to round three was R. R Correct. from R from Warm Bodies. Who is your runner up? <laughs> Are from Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. Uh, I allowed a couple of friends to make suggestions in regards to who some of the other characters will be, and I will kind of walk you through that as we're watching some of the game footage. I know this video is a little bit late, but since I'm only picking one book, I figured it was okay and I didn't want to miss any of the rounds. So um, let's find out what happens. So first up is R versus Mateo. R versus Mateo from They Both Die in the End by Adam Silvera. So let's see what happens. You guys should know where R is from, right? Warm Bodies? Warm yeah, R is from Warm Bodies. So I'm nervous. Hopefully they, they both don't die at the end, right? <laughs> A draw would be bad. How did you make his arms so hairy? Who? Uh, Mateo takes the lead. Mateo. R doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Gave Mateo really hairy arm. I mean, oh, what the? <laughs> All right, I guess that's a good way to dispatch a zombie. Do they both have? Oh, they do not both have the same weapon. They're fighting style. Okay. Do you recall us giving anybody like a really big weapon this time? Uh, maybe one character. Uh oh. Oh, Mateo turned it around. Oh, oh wait. wait, there he oh. goes. R is down. Mateo moves on. Claim victory and bask victory. <laughs> wow. Alright. Congrats, Mateo. That was tough, he says. <laughs> Alright, so at this point Mateo's gonna face off against Amika Chen from Wildcard. The Warcross series. I was gonna by say Warcross. Marie Lu. I was like, Wild Card. What is that? <laughs> oh yeah. We tried to give her some techie weapons. The desire for power. And uh, unfortunately, the the hairstyles are limited. But we also I wanted to give her away. a few different colors in her hair. Come on, Amika. Say, what, what are you, you doing, doing girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That move is crazy. That's a big sword she has on her back. Why is she not using it? Okay, good thing we turned the ring off on. Sorry, ring out off. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. What? Oh, man. Oh, Amika. I think she just done pulled out some of her hacking <gasps> crap. Uh oh. What's going on here? Oh, that was dirty. Wow! Well, you wanted Amika to win, did you? You said, "Come on, Amika." Yeah. Well, in this round, yes. <laughs> we'll see. I'm sorry, Mateo. We'll see. All right, Mateo, you out. Also, uh, Mateo was suggested by Kathy from Kathy Tritheart. So, uh, and by that I mean, they both die at the end. That was yes, the book that. that she suggested. So, thanks, Kathy. Sorry, you lose. <laughs> oh wow! Next. In this next match, we have Amika Chen fighting Britt Marie from Britt Marie Was Here by... Oh, that sucks that I don't remember the name of the author. Ah, that's upsetting. Okay, well, anyway, Britt Marie Was Here was suggested by Shelby from Read and Find Out. Let's get this fight started. So let's see if Amika Chen takes her down or if Britt kicks her butt. With a broom. Whoa. Frederick Backman. Alright, so Britt Marie was here is by Frederick Backman. And Amika is just not, oh. has no mercy. Amika said your broom is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this does not look good. Wow. Wow. And her shirt is gone. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so Amika. That's not still. nice, Amika. Beating up on an old lady. <laughs> Meek is still, still in the race. Victory starts with the heart of steel. 
In the final round, we have Victoria from Victoria In My Head by Janelle Milanis, and she's going to be facing off against Amika Chen. And Victoria In My Head was a book that was suggested by Jocelyn from Yogi with a Book. A single slash can cut even the frozen air in two. I'm a little nervous. I think I might be voting for Victoria here. Well, that means Amika could be the runner-up for next month, right? You won't be disappointed. Ah, uh, is that, that is accurate, yes. Well, either one. Whoever, whoever wins. Is gonna, yeah, okay. Oh, wow. That's a, she seems pretty smooth with her ring. <laughs> the hoop <Well>. of death. <laughs> it's very ballerina-like with her moves. What? I, I, she tried to grab her and she blocked it. I think it would have been interesting if that one had been, been like a, a giant vinyl record or something. Right. Had wow, she turned it around. Oh, it's coming. It's gonna be close. Oh, I don't know. Oh! Oh, she oh missed that last gosh. one and Amika pulls it out. <laughs> Alright. So it looks like Victoria is moving on to round four, and I am going to be reading Wild Card by Marie Lu. All right, so it's been decided. I'm reading Wild Card by Marie Lu this month, and I would love for you guys to help me to decide who should be fighting in round four of Last Book Standing. Um, you can just go ahead and throw out suggestions. If I have the book and I haven't read it, uh, it'll definitely be considered. The other option is that you can click the link in the description below of my list of books and you can check to see if I've read it or not and make a suggestion from there. Anyway. I have a suggestion. You have a suggestion? Not for a book you can read, but if you saw a character on any of the previous book, uh, book last book standing battles that you would have liked to have seen win or heard to read, you could nominate them back into the mix. Oh, okay. We can do that, I guess. So uh, feel free to go check them out if you haven't already and renominate someone that's already fought that you'd like to see fight again. Anyway, it's up to you guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks. See you guys next time.